like I, I, mean, I kind of touched on it when I in the introduction. Like I, you inspire me in a lot of ways, and I think one thing that kind of set that in stone for me is I remember seeing you in first year. Like there was one night out. I'm not gonna go into too much depth, but I remember we had like a little a confrontation about an issue. <laughs> Club and I'm like, nah, this year, this year, guys, is not serious. But then, what? Six months later, like coming to second year, and obviously seeing how you were in third year as well, it's like, damn, this guy's really changed. Like, you really turned it around. You really like, you're kind of the guy I look to. You and Brian similarly when it comes to like, uh, discipline, work life, you know, balance and stuff, managing your time. And I'm like, it's remarkable how like, because even me myself, and I'm looking at how, <laughs> especially Brian as well. To be fair, seeing how he was in first year compared to how he is now, it's like, damn, if people can really turn themselves around just like that. Like there's hope for me. <laughs> I, I kind of I hold a lot of faith in in the system after seeing how like you and Brian work, and I kind of want to ask like what you know I mean what if there was anything that uh, instigated that change like what kind of forced you into I guess waking up and doing things differently. Um, uh, uh, I'd say for a long time, I, even before university, I've always been someone who does a lot like introspection always looking at myself and trying to reflect on my actions and to say prior to university a lot of my life was based around um, being the ideal person in terms of like how how people see me so being ha- being an ideal version of like how the people I looked up to saw for me rather than being my own version of my ideal person so when I got to university it was a case of, of a lot of freewheeling and just you might just gotta figure it out and just, just you know, move mad. <laughs> and I say, yeah. you know, of course, with that lifestyle, uh, you do end up in fairly precarious situations. And it got to the stage where um, I had to take a long, hard look at myself and be like, "Shay, okay, um, this is a position you're currently in." Like, is that what you want to be in long term? And it wasn't even like a case of uh, um, uh, me being told. It was just a case of me having an honest discussion with my, myself. And um, yeah, I'd say that's where like the main bulk of the change came from. But it wasn't like uh, uh, it wasn't like an overnight thing. Like even in that second year, there was times where, of course, I would slip up. And you know, second year, third year, even, even to this day, I still slip up. But the main thing is realizing that you know. It is a journey, regardless of like how many people tell you, oh yeah, Shay, you changed so much, you've done all these things. It's a case of me still realizing like, hey, you know, humble yourself because you could easily end up making mistakes again. And again, you've made this much change. Where can we go from here? But of course, you know, appreciating the change that I have made. Mm, yeah, I hear that still because I think to some degree, like, like I guess it's all good and well to to change like in the short term but having like the capacity to actually realize as you said like being introspective realizing your flaws or your issues and kind of fixing that and constantly growing is like such a an admirable thing like understanding that you know we can always get better as human beings and that there's always a uh, you know something that you can keep pushing and improving on is one thing but acting on that as well and continuing to grow is like i don't know like it's it's a great thing <laughs> and i love seeing it in people yeah, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I just gotta be be thankful for the fact that you know, of course, it's, um, I was able to reach that stage, but I also had a friendship group who also, you know, would call me out. Who would also suggest things. Who would also support me in these, in terms of learning new habits, dropping old habits, and just in terms of being patient with me. You know, um, it's a case where there's a lot of people who we see the changed person, but I don't think enough. Get enough credit gets given to the people who are keen making that change. Mm. That's very, very true. I guess, how have you, like more specifically on that, what is it like? Because <laughs> obviously, I, obviously, I know you guys have that covert chat, <laughs> which I'm not going to uh, expose too much, but it's like, is it a case of where you just sit down with guys and like, actually go over things? Not, not like an intervention, but as a proper like talking through things. Or you just have realized over time, like, let me fix up this and that. And like small, small tweaks over time. Um, yeah, I'd say I definitely wouldn't just put the, 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 the main, the bulk of my change on solely on the um, covert as well, though. Because there was loads of people who changed, whether it's like people at church, I'm at church, or people at all these different friendship groups that, you know, even though I may not talk to these people, 
as regularly. It could legit be something that someone said in passing. And it's a case where um, that person saying that thing to me in passing, this may not be something like Jeff Mad, like, oh, Share, you need to really change. Da, 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 da. It could just be something that, let's say, that person's done something that you didn't expect them to do and they complimented you on that. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, oh, Jordan, um, I really liked you. I really liked how you got involved in that initiative. Like, I didn't expect that from you. Someone would say something like that in mm-hmm. passing. But it's, it's just like a combination of these things that made me realize, okay, wow. And it wasn't even like, a, um, oh, um, it wasn't like, I, I, um, it wasn't like a, a major intervention. It would just be a case where like, you know, when you're around your friends, you have like candid and frank conversations and with friends, you know, you will say with friends, you know, sometimes people will say ignorant stuff, but it's about when these ignorant things are said, pulling your friends up on it rather than it being a case of being like, oh, uh, you know, that's how my man is. That's how this girl is. So da, 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 you know, it's just it's just guys being guys. Like it was definitely important in terms of like both guys and my girls that I had as friends calling me out. You know, um a big person who was key in terms of me changing the person was uh Kamara. Like the my conversations I had with her, it wouldn't even be it wouldn't even be about stuff in terms of like stuff that I did in the past or stuff that I may have said in the past. Just about stuff mm-hmm. in that moment. But you know, having those kind of conversations with people does lead to change.